what do you make of um, uh, Italy's letter uh, and the way that he has waded into this austerity debate? Was that a, was that a positive for the market? Well, I think, as, as, as I said, there's a general debate now in Europe, even, even in Germany, you know, on, uh, on the German domestic arena, you have this debate about uh, austerity and whether this could be uh, counterproductive. Uh, so uh, in uh, Italy, uh, we know that uh, you, uh, you know, the, the, the Democratic Party have won the election, although they don't have a majority in, uh, in, the, in the Senate. Um, I think uh, there the, the, the key issue is, uh, you know, beyond this austerity debate, whether they will have uh, a government and whether this uh, government will be able to pass uh, the key reforms. Quick word on uh, the US GDP print out, uh, out tomorrow, of course. Um, how worrying were the durable goods numbers yesterday? Uh, because let's face it, this, this, this GDP number looks, quite, look, looks set to be quite strong. Yeah, indeed. I think uh, Q1 GDP uh, is, uh, looks set to uh, have been uh, strong, but I think uh, now the worries are on uh, Q2. We could have a, a, a soft uh, Q2 uh, growth uh, number, and I think the markets uh, start to uh, realize that with the risk that uh, this weakness could, uh, could spill, uh, spill over into uh, Q3. And this is mainly due to the fiscal, uh, fiscal drag. Uh, there is a, a fiscal tightening uh, now in, uh, in the U.S., and this is affecting not only uh, the economy, but also uh, confidence. I think the bottom line there is that uh, this uh, uh, is likely to, uh, uh, you know, um, there, was a, some, there were some talks about uh, reducing the amount of, of QE, but I think uh, now all these debates about reducing QE are likely to be on pause as uh, uh, activity softens.